Hello everyone, my name is Ed Salabao and I am making this video series on how to build a Blade 550X helicopter. So um, we will go through the build step by step as the manual suggests and talking about um, you know, important key points as we go along. Most of these key points are usually overlooked by a new builder and some of the information um, I decided that I'll be highlighting is based on some of the questions I have seen posted on the internet forums. So hopefully I get many questions and concerns answered in this video series and get you flying and enjoying your helicopter right away. So uh, one thing I do want to make sure uh, you know, the people that are watching this video understand is uh, this video series that I'm putting together is just a guide. And if you are unclear on some things I discuss in this video, please research it more and please do not take any risk, you know, in the build as, you know, a helicopter of, you know, this size can be very dangerous and can cause harm and damage. So please, you know, um, do your research um, if you have any questions. And, you know, even that's what Horizon Service is, you know, there for. Um, give them a call if you have any questions with regards to the build of the 550X. All right. So uh, what we'll do is we'll begin the build first by um, identifying the tools you will need for uh, uh, for this build. Um, you know, I've kind of laid them all out here and um, let's go through it. And I, you know, everybody has their own different sets of tools um, that they like to use. But these are probably, I would say, the bare uh, minimum that I would that you would need to put this helicopter together. So uh, first off, I would say um, have a set of uh, hex drivers, and um, that would uh, span from you know 1.5 to 2.5 and 3 millimeter. Now um, this is a very nice set, uh, which is made by Revolution. Um, I really like these uh, these hex drivers, as it gives you a, a fairly big um, grip so you can definitely have a good you know uh, portion to hold on to when you're torquing down those uh, bolts um, it also has uh, replaceable tips so if you ever wear out these tips which you know uh, have been working great for me so far um, you can definitely order it and just replace the tips and uh, this is a that this is a, a very good investment as you will always use, you know, these tools for just your typical um, maintenance and uh, repair um, of the helicopter. Um, the next item um, is uh, the ball link pliers. Um, now these are very nice, also made by Revolution. Um, uh, this one's new, I just ordered this one. I have an old set which I'd be changing to this. So what it does is it has this little uh, protrusion here, which you can you know put it on top of the wall, and you just um, press on it to push the to you know it, you know separate the links from the ball, um, and also you do it reverse to get it um, to install a link. It's very handy. Um, definitely another must-have in your toolbox. Um, also for the for the build, I love using this uh, this tool. Uh, this is what they call a control rod setup tool so what this does is you can set uh, the length uh, of the link as you would like to build it you know lock it down build your links um, put them together and until the, you get it to snap on on these uh, balls right here and biggest advantage you will always have even um, the even lengths for your links. I th this is I would say also is a must have tool as you know when your helicopter's been flying for a while you wear out the links and you need to make new ones. 
what I typically do is I just grab the old links, you know, snap them on, you know, set the distance, set the, the length, and then start creating new links until it snaps on. It's so handy, very, very handy. You don't even have to do anything. Um, rounding it off, I ha you would need a set of uh, Phillips screwdrivers, uh, wire cutters, um, needle nose pliers, um, calipers, you know, to measure um, links also if you needed that you could you know definitely use it to set links right here if you didn't want to use that one uh, the, the what's written on the bar by the way uh, revolution also does make uh, uh, um, makes this tool and you can purchase by the way most of these tools at horizonhobby.com and then lastly um, uh, pitch gauge now this one is you know a digital uh, pitch gauge which you know helps make you know the pitch uh, finding the pitch setting easier um, it's a luxury item to have it as digital you can definitely get your standard plastic ones um, but you would have to figure out how to set up uh, like a, a bar as a point of reference for your normal plastic pitch gauges so um, I recommend also using a digital gauge to just make it easier um, there's a couple of options out there I believe uh, this one's made by RC Logger. Uh, I do believe uh, Beast X has one called the Bevel Box, um, although I have not used that uh, pitch gauge tool. Uh, but there should be uh, plenty of options out there. It just this the digital setup just makes it easier if you know you have a fly barless helicopter, and um, you know that's what the 550X is. So we'll get on moving to the first portion of the build and that is putting together the rotor head.